In this class, we are going to learn how to make use of this Excel.js library, which we had seen on our previous class, that is to generate the .xlsx file with the help of Oracle Visual Builder application. But in this case, we will look how we can upload the file, that is .xlsx file, and read the data or parse the data and display in a table in the Visual Builder application. I have created a simple application over here. Behind the scene, this button is nothing but a file picker component in Visual Builder application. Suppose if I click on this button, it will open the file explorer and it will ask to select the file. I am going to select this .xlsx file which we had exported in our previous class that is making use of the same Excel.js library only. So I am going to upload over here. As soon as I click on this button and upload the file, the details of the file will populate over here. So this is the same file which we had created in our previous class with the help of Excel.js. I have uploaded over here. And this is making use of the same Excel JS library over here in order to parse the Excel file and populate the details in the table. Now, without wasting much time, let's begin with our hands on. First and the foremost thing, we have to refer our external JavaScript library function. I have made use of this index.html page and I have referred this Excel JS min.js path over here, which is the CDN path. You can refer to any of the paths wherever you have stored your JS file. Also, you can upload over here and refer the local path of the visual builder as well. Now from the main, we have to go to this main read excel js file. As I had shown, our application or a page is a very simple one. I am having a file picker. So this I have converted into the button by dropping a button behind the scene and a table I am having. So this table, like what we had done in the sheet js, I am populating the column and the data for this table at the runtime with the help of JavaScript. Now I will go to the file picker event over here, which I have created, which is the main thing in our use case. Click on this. So all those things you can have a look at VB cookbook, how you can upload any file with the help of file picker. Also, we have covered in detail in our previous classes. We can make use of the file picker and upload multiple files over here. Now click on this call function. Click on this go to module function. I have referred to the index.html JavaScript function. So this is the way how you can refer to the app flow JSON file references. So this I am not making use currently index.html reference I am making use. So this is visible if I use define with the square bracket and the ending. So don't panic if you see any error message like this. So at the runtime you won't find any issues. Basic thing like what we do while we make use of file picker activity or a component in visual builder. I am making use of the file reader and reading the content of the file. Then I am sending that as a buffer to this xlsx that is xlgs workbook object over here or an instance. I am reading one by one all the details and I am generating the columns as well as the data for the table and populating the table component in the visual builder application that is over here i am having a promise over here that is if you can see over here that is a promise so this will resolve once all the content of the file is read and it will resolve and send the details in case of success it will send the columns and the table data in order to populate over here in the adp in case of failure we will get the appropriate error message which will be notified as a message over here so like this, we can make use of Excel.js external JavaScript library in Visual Builder application and pass the details of the Excel file or a workbook efficiently and solve your business problem. So this Excel.js library is very useful as currently at the time of recording this class, we don't have any native support in order to read or pass the .xlsx file in Visual Builder application.